welcome back to the channel. My name is Kisiwa and I share content on study abroad and scholarship opportunities. So if you just dropped by and you're interested in such content, um, it would be great if you subscribe to the channel and turn your post notification on. So if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Thank you for the patience and thank you for the wishes. Um, I am so grateful for your prayers, okay? So yes, I've been away for some time um and i'm back okay i'm back with great videos i mean great scholarship opportunity videos now in the last epos video i made i actually um was available to assist as many students as i could but i gave a very simple instruction in the intro which almost everybody who sent me a message did not um follow that instructions okay so some people just sent me an email to assist them which i will get back to you very soon and then the others who tried to use the code use the example that i made in the intro of that video as the subject and that is not it and so if you want me to assist you on that particular subject or on that particular topic under the epos scholarship then please watch the video and a code a five digit code will pop up and you use that as the subject of your email and let me know what you want me to assist you with moving away from that you're going to look at another university in germany under the dad epos scholarship and the university we're going to look at is ryan wall university of applied sciences okay now this is the um, home page of the university and the program that you can apply to to benefit from that epos fully funded scholarship is the sustainable development management program okay so um this is basically the programs page and we're going to look at the requirements needed in submitting your application and how you can submit your application to this university and the time period in which you are supposed to submit your application. So another requirement, this university has only two, and that is the language requirement and academic requirement. For the language requirement, applicants should be fluent in both written and speaking English at level B2 or higher, according to the Common European Framework of Reference. And if you haven't taken any test in English, but you were thought in the English in your previous studies, all you have to do is to submit a letter or certificate from your previous university stating that you were thought in English and that um, you have already met this requirement once you have that letter or certificate. For the academic requirement, applicants must hold a bachelor's degree or equivalent in a discipline related to social sciences, economics, or industrial engineering with a German grade point average of 2.5 or higher or an ECTS grade of A or B, okay? So these are the requirements needed. Now, for applicants who are applying through the EPOS scholarship, um, this is the criteria. Um, you should come from a developing country and I've made a video on that. I'll leave the link in the description box. You should have a first qualifying degree in either social sciences, economics, or industrial engineering or an interdisciplinary program covering this field with an with an excellent grade point average then you should also have a two years relevant professional experience an applicant should be fluent in both written and spoken english and lastly you should have proven development related motivation and can be expected to make full use of the scholarship and education by taking on social responsibility later in your career, acting as agents of change who stimulate and support development in your personal and professional surroundings. Okay, so that is what they look out for to select um, students to be part of the EPOS scholarship. Now, um, the application process is very simple. The application process is very simple for the 2024-2025 academic year um application opens between may 1st and june 1st 2023 and then you are to submit your application through uni assist now the scholarship application process is separate 
from the general application process for the study program. So what this means is that um, if your scholarship application was rejected or is rejected, and then you want to enroll on the degree program without a scholarship, then you must apply again during one of the regular application period. That is latest by January 15th or latest by July 15th, okay? And so there is a link here for you to check out the regular application. So if you are submitting your application through the scholarship program, um, application must be submitted to UniAssist. Please do not submit your application to the university's administration or to that. Such applications will not be considered, okay? And you can use this link to submit your application to UniAssist. You're going to look at that shortly. So in submitting your application through UniAssist, the document you need is in the DAD checklist. That's a DAD EPOS checklist. And I've made a video on how you can fill that form. There is a checklist form and then the DAD application form. So you go through it. I'll leave a link to that video in the description box as well. So aside those documents, you need um, to fill an additional form or sheet from the university, okay? And this is the form. It's very simple. It's okay. So it gives you the opportunity to fill even without printing it out. So all you need to do is to download it. You can download it and it will be in a PDF file format. And once you have downloaded it, anytime you open it, what you have to do is to enter. It gives you the opportunity to fill the form online or on your on your laptop without printing it out i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say okay so let's say okay then you give your home address then your place your date and place of birth as it is on your passport so date of birth let's say And your place of birth so then you take um, the you take the period that you're starting your program and it's in winter semester 2024 2025 okay so you take here and uh, once you're done you write your name here again and the place you are and then your date so and then you sign so for the signature what you can do is you can print it out and then you sign and then you scan it i think that's the most appropriate way you should do it okay after you're done filling it, you print it out and then you sign and then you scan it into a PDF file format again. So this is the form that you have to attach to the list of documents on the checklist for you to be able to submit your application. Okay, so we are going to go through how you can submit your application through the uni assist. Okay, so we're going to click on this link and okay. So um, when you click on the link, it brings you to this page and it has already selected the semester, okay? So we are searching for the university and search for the German name of the university, not the English, okay? Name of the university, so it's an H. Okay, so this is the university. And then the states. So once you select the university, once you select the university, it's it will give you where the university is located. Okay. So this is where the university is located. So you select the degree type. It's a master's degree program. And everything is sticked here, everything is sticked here. Okay. So once you're done, don't search for anything here. Okay, don't type anything here. And then let's just search. 
Okay, so once you search, it will give you the option to select which program you're interested in. Okay, so these are the programs you go through with, and we are interested in this particular one. So we go to show details. Okay, so once we open the details, once you show the details, it is stated here that this course is currently not open for applications. Okay. So it means that it's not open for application. So you go back and wait till 1st of May. Then once it's open for application, it will give you the next step for you to take. And then you go on and then you submit your application. For the administrative fee that will be charged by uni access, I have no idea about it. I'll find out and then I'll post it in my shorts. So thank you so much if you've come this far. Now, if you have any question and if you want to reach out to the university to know more about the application process for the EPS scholarship, you can send a message or mail to the contact info here and they will be glad to assist you on that. Also, let me know if there is any other thing you want me to assist you with and I will be glad to do so, okay? Thank you so much and see you in my next video. It's a bye for now. Thank you.